going against yourself will always come back to haunt you and aligning yourself with people that don't care about you will also come back to haunt you let's get into the video hello beautiful people and welcome to my channel my name is monica for those who are new thank you so much for stopping by i create content where i talk about my experience of growing up in a high control religion the jehovah's witnesses i also create beauty content and i used to create commentary videos i stopped but i'm back let's get into the video Kate Middleton, Candace Owens, and P. Diddy all have one thing in common, in my opinion and from my perspective, is that they have aligned themselves with whiteness and it's coming back to haunt them. Now, when I say whiteness, I'm referring to white males. And when I say white males, I don't necessarily mean, you know, an individual white male person, but I mean the institution that white men have created and colonialism and racism and patriarchy, you know, all of these institutions and thoughts and concepts that they have created that's what i mean when i say they have aligned themselves with all whiteness specifically referring to that so let's start with kate middleton kate middleton is part of the royal family we all know this and then it later came out that she was the person who was actually nasty to megan markle and it wasn't the other way around she made megan markle cry and i feel like her relationship with Meghan Markle was probably the best thing that could have happened to her and even the royal family, in fact. I feel like Meghan Markle and Harry's relationship could have easily elevated the family, but they missed out on that opportunity because of, I mean, it's a family, it's a institution that's literally built and created off of the backs of exploiting Africans. So what did we expect, you know? The situation is what a situation is. However, look at how things are playing out for Meghan Markle. Not Meghan Markle, but Kate Middleton. Look at how things are playing out for her. This woman is literally going through the hardest time in her life, possibly, and just look at how everything is transpiring and happening to her and i feel like it is a doing of her own actions and i'm not saying she deserves this but i say it's a doing of her own actions because as people we have to take responsibility for our lives and the actions that we do take as people and she did take the action to basically you know align with evilness badness and mistreat megan markle when it was common and popular and everyone else was doing it when it was an opportunity for her as a woman to align herself with another woman, possibly, you know, create something with Meghan Markle, who knows, but definitely not make her cry and be nasty. And now that she is going through a challenging time in her life, I'm possibly thinking to myself, like, damn, she's probably regretting everything because allegedly her man is cheating on her. And she's dealing with this disease that is possibly, you know, life threatening do i even believe she's sick i didn't even start there i should have started there <laughs> honestly i don't know i don't know if this woman is sick but i don't take cancer very lightly like my father passed away from cancer last year and it's a horrible disease it's so horrible to go through and experience even if it's not just you personally but the people around you are also affected so i don't know if they would lie about something like this but at the same time i do also want to say that you know being in constantly stressful situations constantly stressing out about certain things like your partner cheating being in a racist institution and you now having to exhibit racist things can be very stressful you know it can be a very stressful environment and when you're constantly exposing yourself to stress you also you are also making yourself susceptible to diseases so i'm not saying she caused this disease but i'm saying is that the environment could have played a role and that's why i say that aligning herself with whiteness did nothing for her if not just make her life more difficult aligning herself with the royal family honestly did nothing for her other than just adding more stress to her life and just turning her life upside down and i think it's even the same thing for Meghan markle like probably i think she even expressed this in the documentary that she might have regretted you know had she known what she knew she probably would have done things differently i think she said something along those lines i can't remember now but i do also think about kate middleton that does she regret decisions that she has made to get this far like was it worth it going against yourself to make another woman look bad only for you to go through the same bs have it play out in public and just look at how your life has turned out right now like was it actually worth it 
now let's go to candace owens because was it also worth it for her to go against her community to go against her values what she believes in all for a buck and i say it's all for a buck or for money because because the module i did while in university it was about communication sciences and they were talking about politics and literally the textbook explained politics like this politics is just a talking game like literally it's just a talking game and it's a matter of who can be the most influential who is the person who when they speak people actually listen and politics is literally just that game and i think candace owen owens was playing that game of politics she was just talking but did she know that aligning herself with white talking points and going against the black community will have her here because here's the thing aligning yourself with whiteness and the institutions that they have created is that you will get instant gratification definitely but will it be sustainable and can you still express yourself can you still be yourself within those institutions because look at her now having to do a whole media run going to different platforms trying to tell us her story and i don't even know much about candace owens content i don't really watch her content that much but i'm just like was it worth it because even if you don't watch her content you do know what she believes in her values and you know the stuff that she said about black people we know them even if you don't watch her content or you don't consume it you know it so I, I, I'm seeing it literally play out for her and we're able to see that aligning herself with whiteness literally did nothing for her. It did nothing for her career. Yes, it got a platform, but where do you go from here? Where do you actually go from here? Because now she's probably going to go independent and she's going to have to share her own point of views, her stances on whatever she's talking about and i'm just thinking to myself like what talking points are you now going to use because you are no longer in the pockets of white people like what do you actually believe in and even if she is honest and tells us okay no here's a true candace owens here's what i actually believe in will we will we even believe her can we believe her because of just of how much toxicity she spewed over the years so i don't know but what i do know is that aligning yourself with whiteness not worth it not worth it <laughs> then lastly we go to p diddy puff daddy now his story is crazy it's actually crazy i think what's crazy for me is that it's like it's an open secret the things he was doing like people knew about it but nothing happened to him and that virgin hole I was telling yes! you about. Right. Because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to party. And you got to tell him no. Oh, you got to tell him no. I, I did. He also aligned himself with whiteness. He has the power that he has because of how he's played the game of life. And possibly it was worth it for him because he was able to accumulate so much money. He lived a very fun life for himself i guess and he was able to do the things that he wanted to do but now that the chickens have come home to roost is that the thing i hope <laughs> like is it actually worth it because i don't know if this man will be arrested but at the same time i'm like you're a black man they're gonna make an example out of you they're gonna probably use you as an escape goat and you're probably the one who's gonna take the fall for this you know like i really feel like it's interesting times in America right now. It's crazy and I honestly can't wait to see how everything plays out because it's going to set the tone for a lot of things. It's really going to set the tone for a lot of things because if he's convicted, there's probably other people who are going to be convicted. Who else is going to be convicted? Who else will be exposed? So it's very interesting, but I do believe with all three of these people, the underlying message here is that never go against yourself for money it's not worth it in the long run guys like we're living long lives as human beings you know and with the internet and the age that we live in people don't just easily forget the things that you've done and all of these people are brands you know they have large brands they are very influential like where do you move on from here like what happens now so it's going to be very interesting to see all three of these people and how their lives pan out i do hope that kate william not kate williams wow kate middleton recovers honestly truthfully speaking i don't care i feel like 
we are just so conditioned to really care about white people and when they're in pain where we even overlook other people like let's not forget this person is living her life of privilege because of our suffering as black people because of colonialism because of racism here in africa they exploited our resources and they are still living lavish lives off of the backs of our ancestors and even us you know because there's a lot of issues happening in south africa currently so that's why i'm just saying you know what i don't really care what happens to her but i would never wish this on anyone and with kate not kate but with Candace Owens is going to be interesting as mentioned like what is she going to say now like what is she going to align herself with what are her talking points going to be now you know what is she going to say about the black community you know all of those things are going to be quite interesting so yeah we'll see how that plays out and then P Diddy oh my gosh that is a movie and a half like watching everything play out it's quite interesting it's really interesting so we're living in interesting times i just want to thank you all so much for watching my video it was everywhere because i didn't really plan out my thoughts i just wanted to share what was on my mind and what i've just really been thinking about and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will bring more commentary videos so stay tuned and i'll see you in the next one